each and every one of you. Thank God for those uh, who are watching my way of live internet, whether by Facebook or YouTube. We thank God for each and every one of you. So I want to thank God for those uh, around the world that reach out to us and contact us. We send greetings to um, beloved brother out of the Atlanta, Georgia area, brother Ross, thank God for you, thank God for Sister Mary Wheeler out of Hammond, Louisiana, Mother Belinda White out of Cincinnati, Ohio, and to the beloved brethren up in St. Louis, Missouri, holy greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we greet you with the words of grace and peace. Amen. Uh, we do thank God again for all of His goodness and His kindness and His grace and mercy that He continuously bestows on us. We are here but for the grace of God. It's not like we did anything special to deserve uh, God's grace. God just had mercy upon us. You know, uh, a lot of times we can get beside ourselves and think God owes us something. But we owe all to Him. <coughs> We'd like to invite your attention to uh, the book of Matthew. Matthew, the fifth chapter. Matthew chapter 5. And uh, we'll begin reading at, we'll just start reading at verse 1. Matthew chapter 5, and begin reading at verse 1. And the word of the Lord says, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed, <clears throat> excuse me, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And and, and let, let me just uh, interject here. It is not saying that it's a blessing. To be poor. That's not what that's saying. Verse 4. Blessed are they that mourn. For they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. For they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger. And thirst after righteousness. For they shall be filled. No it's a blessing to pursue God. You see, people uh, pa have great passion for everything else in life, and yet they wonder why they are unfulfilled. <clears throat> they have very little and even no passion towards God. You know, some people have a passion uh, to attain wealth. And it seems like the more money they get, the more money they want. <clears throat> well, I would... Uh, rush to tell you that your pursuit is in the wrong thing. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness. They shall be filled. See, if you seek the Lord, you're going to find him. Uh, verse 7, now the word of God says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And isn't it something how we want mercy but don't want to show mercy? We want folks to be understanding of us. You know, but it, 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 it's amazing, you know, that's why I, I make it my mission to treat people the way I want to be treated. Because Lord knows in years past, if people had treated me the way I treated them, I, I wouldn't have liked. And so, so if we would just pause to, to say, if I were in this situation, would I want mercy or would I want condemnation? Blessed are
are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. And verse 8, we're going to kind of dig in on verse 8 today. Uh, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. But that, that don't sound right. It, it, it's a, you mean to tell me it's blessing in being persecuted? Yes, it is. Because that's how you know you're doing something right. If everybody agrees with you, you might ought to check which way you're going. Because holiness and righteousness have never been popular. So the word of God says, blessed are ye, uh, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. For theirs is the kingdom of God. Verse 11, 9, the word of God says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. They're lying on you. And it's in it's from it's because you're doing the right thing. That's a blessing. It doesn't seem like it. And there are times when we wanna we we wanna you know take matters into our own hands. We want to take, get vengeance. But the word of God lets us know. He said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. Mm -hmm. You go out there and do something. Now you are subject to the law of the land. The word of God also lets us know that the wrath of man working not the righteousness of God. You know, there are times when we want to, you know, we want to stand up by ourselves and we want to take matters into our own hands. But no, 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 just step back and let God Fight your battle. <clears throat> Look at verse 12 now. The word of God says rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. And I don't know about you. But I want a great reward in heaven. Mm -hmm. See I understand that I'm just passing through here. This world is not my home. I'm just passing through. Mm -hmm. uh, some folk they actually think that this world is their home. Amen. Mm -hmm. But I, I need you to know you're only here but for a limited time. You know, this is temporary. Mm -hmm. But there is a life after this. And it is eternal. <clears throat> so the word of the Lord lets us know that we should rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven. Well, let's watch this now. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Now, if you stand for what they stand, if you live how they live, if you walk how they walk, and if you talk how they talk, get ready. You're going to get the same thing that they got. Amen. But you see, we don't want persecution. We don't want to, we don't want to suffer. We want, we want this mamsy, pamsy, honey bun, flower bed ease religion where everybody loves 